USP for a one. First, I big up everybody first. Big up Lady Shay. You know what I mean? New intervention. Take their phones out. Big up our night shifters. Yeah, Thursday night squad. 8 8.30 to 10.30, London Fields. Yeah, we got Lady Shake once again. Mondays, 6.30 to 7.45. But they'll tell you that I'll go to 8. It's because I like them. Um, we also got Thursday nights. Can't leave at the Thursday night squad. That's where the Vikings live. They love to jam up in Thursday night squad. Dope squad. Yeah. And that's at 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Very intensive, very intensive session. That's probably when you get the most aggressiveness out of me. Yeah, it does happen. And then, um, obviously, the foundation what well, gets bigger all the time because I believe I'm I'm not it, as people like to say. They say they call me Captain Street Gym, for example. But Street Gym is not just about me. It's been a lot bigger than me. It always was bigger than me, even when it was just maybe a thought in our minds. People would like to say it's my mind, but it's not really my mind. It's in everyone's mind you know because street gym is about creativity we're standing right now in the middle of telegraph hill which is a kids playground and this is like the ultimate street gym for me because the concept of street gym comes from what we call the jungle gym concept when we were kids we used to play we used to have fun we stayed fit we stayed healthy because we was getting fed by our parents you know what i mean and the schools did their part as well to the best they could you know and at the same time where we were staying fit and training and having fun we weren't really realizing what we had dialed into at such a young age. So I always looked at, like, when I trained with youngsters, I always seemed to learn more than when I trained with adults. And obviously, the way I trained with youngsters was not about, come on, 15. No, it was none of that stuff. It was more about fun and games. So, a game that brings to mind that is like the ultimate street gym concept is like had. Yeah, because you're constantly, you're moving, you're turning, you're tagging, you're reaching, you're dropping down. You got off ground touch, you're jumping up, you know what I mean? It's constantly moving, having the core under scrutiny, cardio workout. At the same time, you possibly are even talking and screaming and laughing. This is also having um, an effect on the core, right? I showed the uh, team yesterday, I'm not going to do it now, but I showed the team yesterday that well, if you're not counting when you're doing my reps, you're not actually getting the fullness out of it. And you know when I say count, I'm not saying one, two, I'm saying one, two, three. Yeah, that's right, because you're pushing on that diaphragm, making sure that the abs are always in work. So, so that takes me back to what are you surrounded with? What are you surrounded with? Because everybody knows me. I used to go to gyms, I used to lift up barbells, dumbbells. I used to do the whole lot. I've done that all. I've done it. I've done it. It's fantastic. You buff up. You know what I mean? But the level of spirituality that I was getting, yeah, and I'm not a religious person, I'm not in a faith of any sort, but the level of spirituality that I was getting was a lot higher. I, when I was training, just in the park, with a couple of mates. Sometimes, and I have to admit, I'm ashamed to say it now, but sometimes it would be over a couple of beers. Man's ego start kicking in, you do a couple of press-ups. You know what I mean? Make it interesting, we added the squat jumps. You know, and I realized that, man, you don't need to go to the gym. The gym is always with you, you are the gym. You know what I mean? You are the equipment. Your arms are the weights. Yeah, you do a hundred reps of just these alone what I'm doing now. Trust me, your arms will kill you. Like you got a hundred kg in them. Alright? So I always says, look at your environment. So if we look around here, we've got the slide here. And I'm just gonna do something simple, nice and quick. Yeah, because I'm gonna be training at the same time as I'm talking to you, alright? And I'm just doing calf raises off the edge. Off the edge. Simple. But because I'm doing it off the edge, it's allowing me to drop slightly. When I drop slightly, that's hitting the calves more, yeah? So you just add that, you do anything. Right now I've got rocks in front of me, okay? So this is where I'm actually going to start a little start. And I'm going to keep it moving. Yes, they sure can. Yeah, good girls. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, I'm going to just use anything in front of me. If it's slippery grass, I'm going to run on it and I'm going to slide on it. I'm going to ex 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 accelerate that course to another level. Alright, so I'm going to start off with this teeth. The two basic rocks. And we're going to add, obviously, the Viking here, the Viking press up. So, something simple like this if you, you ain't got two rocks, you can get two chairs, two objects. Yeah, two objects. Let's make the equipment for objects. Yeah? Right, so in I go, nice and easy. This for me is a warm up. What I would suggest is that you would do what we call the air press up. Okay, so that's just pressing up in the air, no pressure at all. Couple of those. 
just to heat you up, all right? But I did a little something earlier on in the yard, and hopefully that should carry me through. Okay, so then you might bring the arms in. You get creative with it, you know what I mean? You don't just stick to what you know. You know what I mean? You might just change your glasses. You know what I mean? So anything you do, it's all movement. It's all movement. It's all movement. Right, so I'm going to run the spider. All the grease. If you want to make it harder, Stuart will tell you, you bring that leg up. You do the same thing. Leg up. Right, so that's quite good enough that we've done there. Just mixing it up. I don't want to burn out too much camera time. So we're going to keep it moving. So we're going to follow me back over to the other side. There's another part of the playground. And we're going to use that and we're going to do something a bit more captainish. Cool. Peace. Yo, yo, yo. Right, so we're here at a proper typical jungle gym. You know what I mean? You got everything here you need. I trust me, you got everything here you need. You could have this, you could bring your kids to the park, they're playing. Play with them. Don't sit on the sidelines and be fat, Dad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, go on, son, get in there. That's long. Yeah, you get in there, you engage your kids. You really want to bond with your children, yeah? You want to bond with the next generation furthermore, because your children are going to introduce you to other children. You need to get out here and you need to start training out in the parks, yeah? You need to start meeting other parents. You need to start networking. You'll be surprised who you meet just by training outdoors. You go in the gym, you stick headphones in, you're watching the screen, you're watching MTV, you're not talking to no one, you're not engaging, you're isolating yourself. That ain't good for you. That is not good for you. The dopamine levels are not gonna rise up, yeah? And then the, the arguably, like you see my article earlier, that's gonna affect your mood, yeah? And when I say affect your mood, it's gonna affect the decisions you make, how you deal with other people, how you deal with yourself, yeah? So get out there, get out there. Even if you can't find a lovely, pretty part like this, yeah, it looks all picturesque, yeah? You get down to the one in downstairs in your flats, mates. Because that's where I started originally in my flats training with the youngsters, the little bad boys, then they want to smoke their bit of um, puff and stuff. While they're jamming with me, a few of them would do it, I'm not gonna lie, but it wasn't as regular as they would as they was to sit in a stairwell, chat rubbish and do their little rapping what they do. You know what I mean? And I love all that stuff, it's creative, you know, but at the same time, what are they choosing to do with it? What are they using it for? Yeah, it's same like this, what are we choosing to do with it? What are we using it for? My take on it is to get fit, so nah, we all know about Mikey, he's not a gloves man. Gloves are off. Right. I'm gonna have to lose some of this stuff as well, headphones. Safety, you know. Plus I don't wanna mash up my new shit. My new stuff. Right. Okay, time for the Viking. Big high pole, can't reach it. Jump up. That's it. Alright, start off with put on a little lever. And off you go. New style of muscle up there, bro. Just for you. Okay? From here. Right now, this is what's really gonna test me. This ain't been done before. Legs are off the floor. <sighs> Gotta get my breath back a little bit. I'm gonna go for a suspended flag. Okay? So feet don't touch the floor. Still stay suspended. Up we go. Nice pull up to the front. Lovely. Bring the legs in. Work the abs. And that's the street gym is. In one. All the moves you got there, trust me. I was slightly working legs. If you know where, you get free t-shirts. Time! Right, I just want to big up once again everyone who's been involved in a movement, yeah? When I say the movement, forget about street gym. I'm talking about the outdoor training movement, yeah? You know what I mean? You know you are. I don't need to mention your name. You get big up, you get bare love, yeah? We don't do this thing necessarily on mediocre flex. or using the mediums as media to promote ourselves. Because when I see you, you get big up, you get pure love. It's contact that I'm doing with the likes of you guys. Yeah, so on that note, I'm just going to go out my way just to promote the groups then once again. Because that's what I have to do. It's part of the movement, you know what I mean? Spread the word, raise awareness. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go from the week, I'm going to go through the week. Sundays, we've got Street Gym Elites, and that's on Mably Green, okay, in Homerton. You can Google that and we'll come up. Okay, and that starts from 11 o'clock, and it runs to 1 o'clock. Obviously, in the summer, the summery months and the hot days, 
we like to actually stay out there for pretty much the whole day. Our families don't really see us on Sundays, unfortunately, but, you know, that's how it goes, you know, you know. But, um, yeah, because we do do barbecues and a lot of us guys have got these portable speakers that you charge up and we be running music down there. Even if you're not coming down there to train, come down there, bring your kids, bring your husband, bring your wife, trust me. Especially if you argue with your wife or husband the night before, bring them to street gym. See if you don't make up, yeah? Because that's how the vibes is sweet, right? That's what we're about. And yeah, so that's going to lead me on to the Monday session where I get pure estrogenic love, yeah? Of, of my eyes have been open to women, yeah? Uh, trust me, lads, we need to treat them a lot better, you know? Trust me, we need to treat them a lot better. And people say I do a good job, but I know what I'm dealing with, yeah? When you see the ladies come together and unite and they bond as one, I'm talking about ladies who've never met each other ever before, you know? They come down to the session, newcomers, the, the so-called veterans, but they're not really veterans because they've only been running about four weeks, but the so-called veterans, they always embrace them well, you know what I mean? It's, Oh mate, it's, you gotta be there to you gotta be there to to feel what I feel. What I feel right now is good. That, that is a good unity. That's that motherly, sisterly love. You know what I mean? That sometimes even I'm jealous. So girls, if you're a bit shy and you don't want to train with the guys yet, because you won't be shy all the time, by the way. You want to get yourself down to Wennington Gardens, and that is on the corner of Grove Road, where Grove Road meets Roman Road, and that's in Tower Hamlets. Besides the fitness first. I know. It's ironic, we've got the fitness first. Yeah, as you can see, I'm in the party picking up the children's voices, all that's making me feel nice. Just a little, those harmonics is a deep thing, it's just, it's all therapy, you know. There's a Roman therapy, there's audio therapy. We all love to listen to soul music, but trust me, the sweetest soul music is hearing people in happiness, in awe, laughter, joy, you know what I'm saying? Right, and definitely Lady Shape brings me that. So then I go on to lead on to the Illa Shift, which is, um, <laughs> Testosterone, look at that, you see it's flying out of me and everything. Yeah, testosterone fueled, and that's on a Tuesday night, that's after work. It's the night shift, and it starts at 8.30, and we finish at 10.30. That is like two hours of like, <sighs> how often do you see me do that? Yeah, it's two hours of that. So basically, we terrorize your back, your core, your abs. We rule over the parallel bars. We have a set of parallel ropes in there. If you're lucky, I might give you a little sneak preview, but... You know me, I have to be tight with some things. Come on, man, you know? There's privacy and stuff to be kept, you know? So I've got a few secret moves, and so should you have them too, why not? You know what I mean? When I'm ready, you get bust. That's how a lot of the moves you know exist. Yes, you got the night shift, you got me and the night shifters down there. I must take time to big up Jamzy. You know what I mean? He's one of the night shift leads. You know what I mean? You've got Caesar down there. He always puts in work, you know what I mean? He's definitely the night shift. He is the night shifter himself. The concept night shift comes from him, which is night heat, is, is what you call him. You know him as Caesar, but I know him as night heat. Yeah, and definitely we're children of the night, even though at the same time we are known as the children of the sun. Yeah, so then I'm going to lead on to the last session that we've run through the week at the moment, or that I'm prepared to promote. Yeah, because I do have other sessions, but they're not readily available to you guys as yet. I'm trying to keep them small you know so I can actually bring these guys and girls up to a level that by the time we do introduce a new session those guys will be helping me to lead as well you know what I mean because that has been the knock on effect on most of the sessions already so that Thursday session you know it as the dope squad and I'm always going on about dopamine levels because I just remember being in the 90s being a youngster myself not working smoking a lot getting mixed up in a lot of trouble and even when I was like getting what we call getting yours, yeah, if it was money, raving, parties, girls, rock and roll basically, I can honestly tell you that I weren't really happy. My, my hunger for happiness was not, it was my first, sorry, my first for happiness was not quenched, you know, so um, I remember walking around, I'm not going to tell you the, volu the, val the values or the volumes of money that I did have in my pocket in certain days, but walking around with that amount of money in my pocket and just not knowing where the hell I'm going, what I'm doing, no future plan. Do you know what I mean? Very, very moody. And a lot of people that actually loved me and were around me at the time, they actually, they felt the roof of that. They felt the roof of that. Fortunately, they stayed supportive to me. You know, I've got to big them up for that. They know they are. They know they are. They know they are. And um, I started realising that I weren't training at the time, or the way I was training, 
may not have been giving me the results I need. It might have been giving me muscles, but it's beyond muscles. Stuart Parker will tell you, this is more than muscle. It's, it's a lifestyle, it's a way of being. It's not a chore. You don't think, oh, I've got to go to the gym or I'm, I'm going to be late for the gym. You're going to be late for the gym, you're late for the gym. If you're going to have a bath at 10 o'clock in the morning and you have it at 10.30, you're still having your bath. You know what I mean? It's just your lifestyle and things do happen. You know, we read a lot of articles that kind of command you to be regimental in your fitness. I'm not a guy. I'm not a guy. I'm not a guy. I could, I tell you now, if we was to go back to caveman days, when they would have been hunting, I could tell you now, there was, as much as there was a structure and a systematic approach, it wasn't as regimental as we'd like to believe, you know. Sometimes those guys wouldn't eat for three, four days, you know, just actually being on a hunt. And then at the end of the hunt, when they're actually feeling all weak and I can't go no more, that's what they had to, maybe had to do with the biggest beast and feed the family or the village, the tribe, whatever. And this concept, we've stolen this concept now and realized that you need to be creative a bit more. You need to actually expect more from the human body. Yeah, forget the muscles, the mind. Yeah, I tell people a lot of the time, these guys out here are a lot better than me. They can't do half the physical tricks that I can do. But trust me, when you look at their mindset, their approach, as far as I'm concerned, that's what makes them better than me. I'm not going to name who that is, but there is one in the dope squad. Say nothing. Just look out for him. All right, so. So that's all the groups that we actually do through the week. Yes, yeah, so that's me, that's Mike. I'm Mike, you will know me, Captain SG. Call me what you like. I don't really mind, as long as it's not negative, because you know about my movement, positive activity. This being a positive activity, me and my homie there, Brian, yeah? Warrior Risen Television Network, you know? Like the page as well. Like all our pages, Lady Shape, Street Gym Elites, OMG Boot Camps, Tanya up there in Ireland doing her thing. Big up, Max Red Pain, yeah? We know about the red and black, we all know about the red and black, the colours of the supreme elites, you know what I mean? It could be any colour, but we chose that because I like it, right? So just big up everybody, man, and just keep supporting, you know? Hit up them like buttons on Facebook, you know what I mean? Send me a check in the post. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, but no, keep on pressing them like buttons on Facebook, giving us that positive feedback, giving us ideas, and if I would like to say what I want from you guys, it's not attendance, it's not you attending my session, at the moment, today, I want to see more of you guys posting up like what you're eating. I want to see your fantastic meals. I want to see, I want to see your shopping lists. I want to see where it is you may be going wrong on certain things. I ain't going to tell you to eradicate things, but definitely I'm going to be telling you to cut down on things. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to help you. That's what I'm about. That's my, that's my reward. Seeing that I'm helping people and seeing the outcome of that. Right, so on that note now, I'm just going to finish up with a quick little circuit, yeah? Just to keep it moving and you know, go back at home and just chill out and relax. You know, I've got this place here all the time. So we're just gonna keep it moving. Right, here we go. I'm not going to do no basic dips because I know you guys will do them. Okay. Alright, hop down. This will hit the ropes. Right. I know you don't know about the concept called battle ropes. These are battle ropes. Yeah. yeah. They're heavy. Trust me, they're heavy. Right, so you got that move for them? Be real brief here because I don't want to take over the kids. Alright. You jump forward, jump back. You jump through and pull it. Okay, you like that, innit? I know. 
then now we got the shoulder press out and up. Trust me, this gets you. But like, I might make it look easy, it's killing me. Okay. And how do they do this? I'll show you something. Stretching, baby, stretching. 